Hey guys, in this video we are solving question number six on, that's a ugly looking six, hold on, here we go, we're solving question number six on that long division packet. Alright, so for question number six, let's go ahead and set up our problem here. We're doing 5,700, why is this not working, 75 divided by 75. All right, so basically when you have a divisor like 75, you can think of this as three quarters. So if I give you three quarters, you have 75 cents. So every group of three quarters is 75 cents. Now, if I were to have six quarters, right, that's two groups of 75 cents. So basically, if I give you six quarters, we're thinking about how much money that is. Right now, four quarters is a dollar. So if I take this quarter, this quarter, this quarter, and this quarter, that makes one dollar, which is a hundred. And then I have these two quarters left over. Well, two quarters is 50 cents. So a dollar 50 is equivalent to 150 cents, 150 pennies. Um, so that's one way that, you know, anytime we have a divisor that's a multiple of 25, like the number 75, we can kind of use its relation to money in order to kind of help us out here. Now that was only 150. When I have six quarters, that's 150. This number that we're about to divide into right here is 577. So that doesn't necessarily mean that we want to use this little trick over here. It might just be easier to, you know, come off to the side of your paper and say, okay, we're going to do 75 times what number to try to get us close to 577. Okay. But that's just something that I wanted to show you guys over here. All right, so let's go ahead and start solving this, and we'll just kind of back it up to the very beginning here. Uh, so 75, can it be divided into 5? The answer is no, so we put a 0. Can it be divided into 57? Again, the answer is no, so we put a 0. It can be divided into this bigger number, 577. Uh, so how many times do you think that would be? We know that 75 times 10 is 750. 750 is about 200 or so bigger than 577. So let's not multiply by 10 or 9. Let's drop it down to, let's say, 7. Okay, and then we can go up or down from there. Uh, so 5 times 7 is 35. 5 regroup of 3. 7 times 7 is 49. And then 49 plus 3 is 52. That gives us 525. Let's go ahead and try to multiply this by eight just to be sure. So also on your paper, go ahead and set up 75 times eight and let's do that one as well. So five times eight is 40, zero regroup of four. Eight times seven is 56, 56 plus four is 60. So we end up with 600. Well, 600 is bigger than 577, so that's a no-go. We need to do this one right here. We need to do 75 times 7. All right, so we're going to put our 7 here. 75 times 7 was 525, so that's what we're going to subtract. All right, 7 minus 5 is 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. That gives us 52. After we subtract, we always bring down the next digit, and this 5 here, we've not done anything with it, so that's why we're bringing it down next. That gives us 525. Well, look, we already know how many times 75 will go into 525. It's 7 times. So we put a 7 up here, subtract the same number again, because we did the same thing. We did 75 times 7 both times. And 525 minus 525 is zero. So we end up with our answer, which is 77.